Hey guys, Ricky here with the DOD Contract Academy. Thanks for tuning in this week. We've had a great couple of weeks with the 4th of July vacation, spending time with friends and family. Hopefully you guys have also enjoyed yourselves. I know for us uh, here in Massachusetts, time of this recording is July 2023, and we got hit with some some heat and humidity for, for Massachusetts. If you live anywhere south of here, you'd probably laugh at us, but you know, we were just chilling out by the pool and having a good time and had friends and family over and enjoying the freedom that we enjoy in this country. And now we're back to work and looking to pay it back a little bit. So what I want to do with this episode is give you an action plan. And some of you have been asking for something like this, where we can actually talk about something you can execute on for your business. And I think the most fundamental thing you need to ask yourself if you're selling to the government or thinking of selling to the government is what is your goal? You know, we talk a lot about how to make the sale. We talk a lot about business development on here, but all of that really is meaningless until we decide what is the actual goal of your business? You know, do you want to be a large integrator 20 years from now that is bringing in 20, 30, 40, 50, hundred million dollars a year? Is that your goal? Do you want to be a maybe just a specific software company and you're, you have a very targeted niche and that's all you want to do? You sell a piece of the solution, but you don't want to deal with you know integrating different companies together and providing the total solution. That's another avenue, right? Um, it's possible that you just want to hit a couple government contracts a year. Maybe you have a revenue goal. Maybe you just you have a small business. You'd like to bring in one or two million dollars in government contracts a year depending on what your business is, maybe it's a services company, or, or look, maybe your goal is, isn't even 20 years, maybe it's five years, and you want to sell your business in five years, and you want to bring in government contracts to help increase the valuation of your business before you sell. These are all excellent goals to have, and certainly the goals can be a lot more specific than this, and, and they can vary wildly. But that's just an example of what are you really looking to do? Because the plan you're going to put in place is going to vary significantly. You know, if you're looking to be a large integrator and you want to be in that position, and I, we look at the long game, right? So we always used to say the big defense contractors have a hundred year plan, right? So I like five, 10, 20 year plans, right? So 20 years, are you going to be here still selling to the government? And what is your company going to look like at that point? And then we can work backwards. So that's one piece of it. What do you want to do? And as far as taking action, and what I'm going to recommend here is if we talk about revenue that you want to be bringing in, we can, again, look at the goal and work backwards. And I think there's no better way to do that than to start looking at companies that are similar to yours, that are already succeeding, that are accomplishing the goal that you want to be at. So. The action plan that I would like you to put into place is go to usaspending.gov. This is a free website. And if you use something like Govlin IQ or GovTribe, you can use one of those tools as well. But go to usaspending.gov. And what I want you to do is when you can search for businesses on there, let's say that you've set a goal for yourself where you want to be, if you're selling medical supplies, right? and you want to sell $10 million worth of medical supplies a year, what I want you to do is go in, find the product service code that matches medical su supplies, maybe look over the past five years or so and see, look for companies that have hit the target that you are looking for. And this is going to take you some time. You know, USA Spending is a government website, so it's not, you know, it's not hard to use. It just, it can take time. It can be slow, but this is a good way to get in there and start looking for companies that are like yours or that you would like to be like, right? So we can start reverse engineering from the goal. If you were a woman-owned small business or a veteran-owned small business, you could go in and choose those parameters too. So you could choose medical supplies. You could choose the uh, type of business, woman-owned small business. And you could also check, uh, choose, you know, what is the amount awarded to each of these companies? Play around with that search a little bit and find five or so, four or five companies that look like yours. And start taking a look at because you're gonna it's gonna give you a lot of different companies that are gonna pull up in the search. And by the way, I'm, I'm using medical supplies as just an example. You could be cybersecurity. This could be for 
you know, program management services, religious services, I mean, you name it. But we're looking through the results here for companies that look like the company you want to own 10 years from now, 20 years from now, five years from now. Find the company. So pick four or five of them. And when you click on them, you can look at what they've done through the history of government contracting. You can look at what they've done over the past couple of years. But let's say your goal is to be doing $10 million a year. So you're looking for a company. You might have to click on a few of them and you can see, okay, well, these companies are roughly, you know, it's probably going to, um, it's probably going to vary, but it'll pull up a bar graph in USAspending.gov and it will show you what, and this is the, this is the plus of selling to the government, right? All this information is available. And so just know if you start selling to the government, your information is going to be available. So it's going to pull up all the stats on your business. So you want to pull that up. And when you see those companies that are doing roughly what you want to do a year, now we can start looking at a few things. It will, first of all, it will tell you in rank order who they're selling to, which agencies. So that's going to give you some idea, right? That you can work backwards from, oh, they're selling to the army or they're selling to the VA. It will also give you some thoughts as to what the PSC and NAICS codes are that they're using. But something I think a little bit more valuable is we can see, we can go back and we can look at all of the contracts that are in usaspending.gov. And it's not going to give you all the information, right? There's uh, a lot of other websites you can go to to get more like FPDS and SAM.gov. But for the value, just for something that you can take action on now, when you find those three to five companies that look like the company you want to own, go back and start looking at what are the first contracts that they won, right? And who were they with? Were they competed contracts? Were they SBIR, Small Business Innovative Research Contracts? And if they were, who were they with? How much were they for? How long did it take them to get from maybe $100,000 a year to $10 million a year? right? You may start seeing some trends. The more companies you look at, I guarantee the more trends you're going to see. You might see that in medical supplies that it took a company, you know, 20 years to ramp up from just some small dollar sales, maybe through GSA, all the way to $10 million a year. Maybe they have, look. For, you can look for things like, does that company have a GSA schedule? Do they have an IDIQ that they're selling off of, meaning an indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract with the government, and the government can then put delivery orders on them. If it's a, a cybersecurity or a software company, you can start looking at, is this company selling them yearly licenses? You know, are they annual or do they sell them one license? And then maybe they are selling additional licenses as needed and, and growing that way. There's a lot you can learn from doing this drill. So that's the action plan I want you to put into place today. Go to usaspending.gov after you set your goals for your company. This is what we want to be doing. These are the kind of companies we wanna look like. And then go find those companies that look like yours. And the more specific, the better. You know, if you're a just a small business, I don't wanna say just a small business, but if you're a small business, don't look at companies that are 8A. Right. If you're not going to be an 8A company, if you're not going to meet that criteria, then you shouldn't be looking because an 8A business is going to have different advantages and different ways to sell to the government. You want to look at just a regular small business. If you're a disadvantaged business, look at other disadvantaged businesses, SDVOSB. There's a lot of different certifications out there that you can look at. And you're trying to look at companies, even if you have an innovative solution that you know maybe is unique, you can look at other companies out there, you know, for instance, if you have a uh, a unique user interface and you're like, oh, nobody has the user interface uh, that I sell, that our company puts together. Okay. But there are other software companies out there that, that make user interfaces, right? So you can look at companies that do something similar and start seeing who they're selling to, how they're selling, how they got their first contracts. There's also mentor programs out there. So if you find a, a business, especially if they're a large business now, or are getting there and you're looking for some mentorship, you know, why not reach out to them and just say, Hey, look, can we schedule a call? You know, we're getting into this and looking for a mentor. And we think that you might be a good fit. You might be surprised just how many people are willing to talk about their trials and their successes selling to the government. It is the long game. It's not easy, but it is very rewarding when you make it work. So this is my tip of the week. Go in there, take a look, build a plan, 
and build that plan off of your goal, whatever that's going to look like. And then next week, we'll talk about what your next plan of action can be. We also have some great interviews coming up. We also have not just interviews, but uh, using tools like uh, some AI tools for proposal writing, which I've brought Use Rogue on the show before. We're going to have them on again as they're rolling out new features. It's just making it easier and easier to actually write proposals and to respond to some of these. And actually, if you do go to Use Rogue and you want to check out that, that AI proposal writing platform, and you mentioned you heard them here on DoD Contract, they have some special incentives for you there. So do that. Reach out to us. Let us know if you want a specific topic covered on the podcast. We'd love to get in there and answer all of your questions. We're ramping up here. We're going to have an awesome year for the rest of podcasts. So go out there, be successful, help the U.S. military and the government do their job and build a strong, profitable business for yourself while you're at it. All right. Take care, guys.